NASA invested nearly $10 billion to build the James Webb Space Telescope, a machine designed to peer deeper into the cosmos than humanity ever has before. Its mission was clear and ambitious, to observe the universe as it existed shortly after the Big Bang, to witness the birth of the first stars and galaxies, and to answer questions that have haunted cosmology for generations. What the telescope has revealed, however, has gone far beyond expectation. The latest findings have shaken the foundations of modern astrophysics, forcing NASA and scientists around the world to confront an uncomfortable reality. The universe is not behaving the way our best theories predicted. For decades, astronomers believed they had constructed a reliable framework explaining how the universe formed and evolved. According to this model, galaxies began as small, fragile structures that slowly grew over billions of years through mergers and gradual star formation. Order was expected to emerge slowly from chaos. But the James Webb Space Telescope has delivered a different story. Instead of faint, primitive galaxies barely holding together, Webb has revealed massive, mature galaxies existing shockingly early in cosmic history. These systems are bright, well-organized, and densely packed with stars at a time when the universe should have still been young, turbulent, and unfinished. This discovery alone has sent shockwaves through the scientific community. If galaxies were already fully developed so soon after the Big Bang, then either our timeline of cosmic evolution is fundamentally flawed, or the processes driving galaxy formation are far more efficient than previously imagined. What was once thought to be a slow unfolding of structure now appears almost explosive, as if the universe assembled itself with startling speed and precision. The surprise does not end there. Astronomers expected that as telescopes looked farther and farther back in time, galaxies would become rarer. At extreme distances, the universe was supposed to thin out, eventually fading into darkness. Webb has shown the opposite. Image after image reveals layer upon layer of galaxies, stretching deeper than expected, with no clear edge in sight. Each tiny point of light represents billions of stars, and likely countless planets. The sheer abundance is staggering. This overwhelming density suggests that the universe may be far larger than previous estimates. If what Webb sees is representative rather than exceptional, then the scale of the cosmos could be orders of magnitude greater than we once believed. With that immensity comes a profound implication. If galaxies are this numerous, and planets are as common as current data suggests, then the probability of life elsewhere in the universe increases dramatically. The idea that humanity might be alone begins to feel less like a scientific conclusion and more like a consequence of limited observation. Yet every answer uncovered by Webb brings with it deeper and more unsettling questions. If galaxies matured so quickly, did we misunderstand how matter cooled and clumped together after the Big Bang? If distant objects appear brighter and more organized than expected, are we missing fundamental aspects of physics itself? Forces like gravity, dark matter, and dark energy, already poorly understood, may not behave exactly as our equations predict. Webb's infrared instruments, capable of cutting through cosmic dust that once obscured our view, reveal spirals, filaments, and clusters with an elegance that seems almost too ordered for such an early universe. NASA's so-called, Red Alert, was not a warning of danger, but an acknowledgement of disruption. The telescope's findings demand that textbooks be revised and long-standing models reconsidered. Cosmologists are now re-evaluating star formation rates, the growth of cosmic structures, and even the role of dark matter and dark energy in shaping reality. For the first time, real observational data may be pointing toward new physics, connections between cosmology and particle physics that could redefine how the universe truly works. In many ways, the James Webb Space Telescope functions as a time machine. Each photon it captures has traveled billions of years through expanding space, carrying with it information from epochs long before Earth existed. 
These ancient signals tell stories of creation, evolution, and transformation on a scale almost impossible to comprehend. And within those stories lies a radical possibility. If mature galaxies existed so early, perhaps the Big Bang was not the singular beginning we imagined. Some scientists now cautiously explore ideas involving earlier cosmic cycles or extended pre-Big Bang histories. Webb has not proven such theories, but it has made one thing clear. Our understanding of cosmic origins may be incomplete. Webb's impact extends beyond distant galaxies. The telescope is also revolutionizing the study of exoplanets. By analyzing the atmospheres of worlds orbiting other stars, Webb can detect traces of water vapor, methane, carbon dioxide, and potentially even oxygen. If it identifies a chemical imbalance that cannot be explained by geology alone, the implications would be historic. The detection of even simple life beyond Earth would reshape science, philosophy, and culture forcing humanity to redefine its place in the universe. Even without direct evidence of life, the diversity of planetary systems Webb observes is astonishing. Gas giants orbit dangerously close to their stars. Rocky worlds circle dim red dwarfs. Some planets may be tidally locked, others cloaked in thick atmospheres. Nature appears far more inventive than our solar system alone ever suggested. The telescope itself stands as a triumph of human engineering and cooperation. After decades of development, it unfolded flawlessly in space, its golden mirrors aligning with breathtaking precision, its instruments cooled to near absolute zero. Yet its greatest achievement may be how thoroughly it has humbled us. Instead of offering tidy answers, Webb has expanded the mystery. Scientists often describe the experience as a kind of cosmic vertigo, an awe mixed with uncertainty, as if standing on the edge of an intellectual abyss. The implications ripple far beyond astronomy. Ideas once considered speculative, such as the multiverse, have gained renewed attention. If our universe is just one of many, each with different physical laws, then our reality becomes part of a far grander structure. This does not diminish humanity's significance, it reframes it. Life becomes not an accident, but a possibility written into the fabric of existence itself. Culturally and philosophically, Webb's images resonate deeply. They are not just scientific data but works of cosmic art, spirals of light and glowing clouds that inspire awe across disciplines. Artists, philosophers, and theologians find meaning alongside astronomers. The telescope has become a bridge between knowledge and wonder, reminding us that exploration is as much about meaning as measurement. At the same time, Webb's revelations carry a sobering message. Against the backdrop of an immense universe, Earth remains fragile and rare. It is the only world we know that supports life. As we marvel at distant galaxies, we are reminded of the responsibility to protect our own planet. The cosmic perspective does not make Earth less important, it makes it priceless. The story of the James Webb Space Telescope is ultimately the story of humanity's curiosity and courage. It is the story of a species willing to invest decades, resources, and imagination to look beyond itself. Webb has shown us that the universe is larger, older, and more structured than we ever imagined. The journey ahead will challenge our assumptions, stretch our theories, and force us to rethink what we know about reality itself. This is not the end of the story. It is the beginning of a new era of discovery. And through the eye of James Webb, humanity has taken its first clear step into a universe far stranger and more magnificent than we ever dreamed.